Hello, and welcome to the channel. I bought this wine a few days ago for a recipe, and I have some left over, so I'm going to turn it into something else. If you'd like to know what that something else is, stay tuned. I'm in the kitchen and I am going to be using some store-bought wine to make some white and red wine vinegar. I will be using two amber mason jars, a SCOBY from my homemade kombucha, and some starter liquid from my homemade kombucha, as well as some water. So let's get started. First, you use a jar, whatever jar you have. I'm gonna be using amber jars because with this particular process, you need to keep some of the light out. Now, I'm going to be using a wine of choice. I picked up a small four pack of Pinot Grigio and I'm going to use one of those in this white wine vinegar. So I open up the white wine and pour it in the amber jar. This bottle and this paper packaging will be recycled. Now I changed my mind. I'm actually going to use two of these little wine bottles to make my white wine vinegar. So the second wine bottle is going to be poured into the mason jar. The white wine almost fills up half of the mason jar, which is perfect. Now we have to add a SCOBY, some starter liquid, and some water. So let's do that. Before we touch our SCOBYs, we must start out with clean hands. So I've washed my hands. This container consists of my SCOBYs. I call it my SCOBY hotel. This is where my kombucha SCOBYs live when I am not making kombucha with them. I am going to remove one of the newer thinner scobies from off the top. They are a little slimy, but they're not bad to touch. Once I have my scoby inside the jar of wine, it goes. You must always keep your scobies covered up. You don't want any dust, debris, or any type of insects to get in and ruin it. So now it's time to put in a little bit of starter liquid. And this is just the liquid that has gone past its prime as far as kombucha is concerned, and it is turned to vinegar. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my white wine. Now it's time to fill the jar up to the one inch headspace line with water. If you're going to make this, remember, do not use tap water, use bottled water. Tap water will damage and kill your SCOBY. Just like with your kombucha, you will now use a breathable cloth and cover your vinegar. I am just going to use a paper towel and a canning ring to cover my red, well, this one is white, but my white wine vinegar. And now this is going to go in the cupboard to sit for about a month. Now let's start the red wine. It's gonna be the exact same process as the white. Let's get started. You grab a jar, any kind you like, and add the wine.
get every last drop. Add your kombucha starter liquid. Wash your hands before touching your SCOBY. In the jar it goes. Add water to a one inch head space. That one inch head space is right here at the neck. Clean up any water spills and cover the top of your jar with a breathable cloth. Secure with a canning lid and put in a dark place for 30 to 60 days. You will smell your vinegar to see if the scent has changed. If the scent has changed, take the breathable cloth off, take a look at it, and you can taste it. If it begins to taste like vinegar, then voila, you have made yourself not only one, but two different varieties of vinegar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label them and put them in the cupboard. I want to thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you take the time to make yourself some red wine vinegar and if you do drop me a comment in the description box below. As you can see here I also make apple cider vinegar so I'm pretty busy in the kitchen. I've had this in my kitchen for roughly two years and it does have a mother. The mother is pretty beat up, but that's okay. It's still good vinegar. So again, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, share this video, leave me a comment, and thank you all for visiting and watching. I hope to see you again, either in the kitchen or in the garden real soon. Bye for now.